Many people told us about the best Mexican food on the Strip, and that's exactly where we're headed today. We are going to Sayulitas Mexican Food, and this place is known for their big burritos. That's exactly what it says on their logo. They're located right across the street from Mandalay Bay. They're known for their huge, huge portions, okay? Their burritos are like football size, even bigger. But we're also going to be getting something called their hot Cheeto fries that look absolutely delicious. We were told this is the best. We're gonna see if that's true. So let's go ahead and see what Cellulitas is working with. Oh my God, you guys, we're back in the car and look at this portion of hot Cheeto fries. This is a medium, okay? And I promise you, it's at least five pounds. Like my arms are hurting holding this up. But look how delicious this is. It has carne asada, nacho cheese, hot Cheetos, fries underneath there somewhere, some guac, I believe, sour cream. This looks incredible, okay? We got three things. This is the first one. So let's go ahead and try this. Man, I don't even know where to start. Okay. <laughs> This is just crazy. Like, I'm not kidding. Like, this is insane. There we go. The perfect uh, bite. My mouth is watering. You ready? Yes. Okay, here we go. Ooh, that carne asada is really good. <clears throat> Lots of flavor in that meat. You can tell the meat's super fresh. Like, sometimes when you have, like, really bo boisterous kind of looking food, sometimes it can, like, lack on the flavor, you know? Uh-uh. No, this place is, like, bomb. Mm. And this mm. is fresh too, by the way. Ma'am. We were back there when they were putting it together and shout out to them also because they were that. really nice to let us back in the kitchen. Look at that. And these hot Cheetos just give it a great crunch and a great kick. Mm. This is so good. Like if you're on the strip, this is right across the street from, the, uh, from Mandalay Bay, you guys. Right across the street from Mandalay Bay. If you just need like a big meal to share with your friends, this is the place to go. I want you to try this. Okay, guys, I had to even sit at a different angle this time so <laughs> I could try to eat this because it's crazy big. All right, here we go. Isn't that carne asada so good? You guys, <laughs> I'm sorry you can't be here right now. <laughs> I'm so sorry. This carne asada is delicious. It really is. Wow. Mm. I feel like the Flamin' Hot Cheetos, they actually do add to this. They add a nice little spice to it, right? The funny thing is, you don't even have to get it with the Flamin' Hot Cheetos. With the fries, the cheese, the guacamole and everything, it tastes incredible just with that. And their carne asada is on point. Honestly, you probably, like you said, you could eat this with four different people. But honestly, I almost want this all to myself. <laughs> It might take me a month to eat it. There's no way you can eat all that. It might take me a month to eat it, but I, I would tear this up after about a month. <laughs> if this is this incredible, let's go on to the next one. Let's do it. This is the lumpia burrito. You guys, it actually has lumpia somewhere in there. I promise you. I don't know where it is, but it's in there. It's got fries, lumpia, carne asada again, guac. This burrito is probably four pounds kid you not again it could feed four people for sure i found the lumpia it's like where's waldo the lumpia is right there you guys right there and i think there's more too because i don't they don't just put one but... no they put a few in there <laughs> yeah there's definitely more in there let's do it oh my gosh here we go this is huge i know <laughs> oh. 
Mm. This is absolutely delicious. Mm. So what do you taste right away? What's mm. one of the things that stands out to you? Goodness. I don't know. Let me try again because that's a really good question because there's so many things in here. One more bite as Jamil would say. I would say potatoes and cheese first and then the carne asada and then that bite I had lumpia. So finish it off with the lumpia at the end. This is bomb. Absolutely bomb. You know what? I'm not going to do it, but I would take some hot Cheetos, put it on here for every bite, and I would just take this to the next level. But this is delicious. It's huge. You can eat this all day, just this half, you guys. Babe, you're going to like this one. So you can actually smell the lumpia in here, and you guys, this whole thing smells delicious. So let's go on in. Kristen got these small little bites. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, he's showing me up. Oh, I see the lumpia. Mm. You know? It is hard to taste a lumpia, I think because of the fries. Fries stand out a lot, of course. And they're good. And they're really good. And that cheese sauce. Man, this cheese sauce that they have on there is just good. He was pouring some salsas on there. And I think one of them is the one that I keep tasting. But wow, this is so good. And I love Filipino food. So the lumpia is just, oh, this is on point. Mm. I don't know if it's enough food. <laughs> Do you think you can eat this half and the other half by yourself? Yeah, give me a week. <laughs> give me about a week. In one sitting? No. I could probably do it in two, though. In, like, all day? Like all day. If, uh -huh. if you gave me two breakfasts and lunch, I could finish it. Uh -huh. For sure. <laughs> but just one dinner? No. Not at all. But I got to go back for one more bite, Yes, you, guys. you do. I've had two. I've had two. <laughs> but I got to do this third because this thing is so good. Mmm. I got the lumpia that time. Lumpia! <laughs> I definitely tasted it that time. It's delicious. Lumpia is like a fried spring roll, just in case you guys don't know. Filipino. Yeah. And this place does have a Filipino twist, it says. Mm -hmm. On the door, it actually mentioned that. Mm -hmm. And this is home to the big ass burrito. That's this what is. the logo says. It is. It's <laughs> massive. Let's move on to the next burrito. Okay. Fun story, fun factoid behind this. We only ordered that lumpia burrito and the hot cheetah fries only. They give this to us on the house. Bacon wrap burrito. Super, super nice of them. Um, this is just a ton of food. I don't know what to do with all of it, but I'm not mad. <laughs> so let's go ahead and try this bacon wrap burrito. Okay. Am I going to be able to grab this? Good luck. That's all I'm going to say. Kristen's hands, I don't know if they're big enough to I don't think grab them. She was talking about all small hands. <laughs> I think Jamil's going to need to do this bad boy. No, I think you can do it. I, I might have to do it with a fork and be annoying. No, don't I do it. I promise you I don't think I can grab don't it. Don't disrespect the burrito. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, I got it. There you go. I got it. Look at that. Okay, I can take a corner bite. And he got a little support from the other side of the burrito. There you go. You got this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. All right. I don't even know what's it. Ooh, what is that? Um, so I think they. Ooh. I think they put sausage inside there. So I'm not on resort. I think it's sausage. It's a little sweet. I have no idea what it is, but it's bomb. It's really good. Put it right here. Oh, I can't wait to try it. Mm. Okay. Okay, here we go. Good bite. Mm. Mm. It's really good. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I gotta say. The ice. Was some type of sweet sausage, maybe. Maybe it was their linguisa. I'm not sure. Bon. Yeah. Bon. Very good, huh? Mm. So what do you what do you taste out of this burrito? I don't know. I taste more sweetness, like a little more barbecuey kind of flavor. But it still has fries, guac, got some tim uh, pico de gallo in there, that nacho cheese, saltiness of the bacon. It goes really, really well together. I'm full. I promise you I'm full. Um, but you need to try it. It's really good. Okay. I got to take back what I said about Kristen a minute ago about not being able to grab this. Because you guys, I can barely grab this right now. <laughs> this thing is massive. It really is. But I'm going to try and take it from the back. Because that's a better side over here to per just grab it. That's why I was rotating it. Per usual. <laughs> exactly. Okay. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Ooh. This one is like an adventure. <laughs> it is. It is. It's like an adventure because there's so many different flavors in there. I do taste kind of like a barbecue sauce almost type of thing. I don't know if that's what it is, but it does have a kind of a barbecue type of taste. But then that sweetness in there, the sweetness really comes through. Now, I'm not sure, I can't, I, I know I saw this on their TikTok, 
but I don't know exactly what it is, but I remember thinking like, this looked incredible. In fact, when we were ordering, um, they make fries and they put these on top of them. We'll have to look up to see what it is. We gotta look up what it is, but let me say, I have no idea. Oh, I remember now. You know what? The guy was asking me what of the three different meats and I didn't know the names of them. So I said, what's your preference? And he's like, everyone gets this one. I was like, I'll take it. <laughs> okay, good job. But I didn't catch the name. I thanks, didn't catch the name. Thanks for the lack of info. I know, right? <laughs> but you guys know how I do. I always do that stuff. But this takes you on an adventure because there's different flavors that come through. This thing hits hard. It's so good. And I gotta say it, we might have to eat this with a fork and knife. Cause I don't think I can take, I can't take another bite of it. I can try, but it's gonna be hard to get, it's hard to grab it. As I'm grabbing it, you guys, it's like, falling falling out on that side mm -hmm. so oh, man i want that side too man mm. it's almost a fork and knife situation almost not almost i think it's definitely <laughs> i think you're right but you guys now we're gonna rate this and we're gonna give you guys a price point so you guys can know exactly what to expect about this place so the price point for the hot cheetah fries and the lumpia burrito together was 36 dollars like we said they hooked us up on that bacon wrap burrito so we don't know how much that costs probably around the same but the hot cheetah fries a medium is 16 dollars and 99 cents and the price. lumpia burrito is 17 dollars and 99 cents you might be like oh that's kind of high for you know Mexican food for burritos and carne asada fries. Or but hot look fries. how much you get. It's for I mean, four people. Yeah, for sure. You're going like less than four dollars per person. Yeah, if we were hosting some sort of event, I think like with like maybe like five people, all three of these items would have filled up all five, maybe even six people for sure. Absolutely. Yeah, so that's no. the price point ish. Cool. You know what to expect. Definitely mm -hmm. don't feel like you can eat this on your own because you can't. Exactly. Okay. But now we're going to rate this place. Yes. One out of 10. That way you guys are going to officially know what we think of this. We're going to rate Sayuli just as a whole because we've clearly loved mm -hmm. everything. Yes. We're just going to give this restaurant on a one to 10 scale as a whole. Okay. Here we go. One, one two, two, three, three nine, nine and, and a half. half. Yeah, for sure. No doubt. No doubt. You guys, I gotta say something really quick. You know how we've we've been serious about this. We've mm -hmm. said in Las Vegas, we have not found a good burrito anywhere. We've gone to multiple different places. Mm -hmm. No joke, this is the first place. I mean, I don't know if you agree with me or not, but this is the first place that we've gone to where they have a very, very good burrito. It's exceptional. I definitely think by far, this is gonna be the best burrito we've had out here. And I bet you we're not gonna find anything better. This burrito is very, I agree with you. This yeah. burrito is very delicious in flavor. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of like, it gives me munchy slash drunk vibes. Yeah. Okay, because mm -hmm. of the french fries they put in and the natural cheese. Everything's like ooey gooey. Exactly. Um, but so good. Like, they definitely mm -hmm. don't skimp on the flavor. And that's what's yeah. important when it comes to these restaurants. That's so next time you're in here, check out Sayulichas. It's right across from Mandalay Bay Hotel exactly. and Casino. So if you're staying there, just walk across the street. Yes. It's right by like a Shell gas station and a McDonald's. You exactly. can't miss it. Hope so. you enjoyed this video. And don't yes. forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, share. And it's carried by your friends and know what the Kate and GFM are doing. And until next time, we hope you have a wonderful day, evening, or night. Whatever time it is out there, we will see you in our next video. Yo. Mm -hmm. Peace out, child.